Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie, I am the Introverted Reader and today's video is gonna be my TBR for the month of August. I nearly said July, but July is nearly over. How, how, that's, that's crazy. So yes, we're here on this rainy afternoon. It's raining again, it was sunny 10 minutes ago. Anyway, I have my August TBR sitting here. Um, so we're going to make this a quick one because mom is hungry and I want to get this filmed and go get lunch. So let's hydrate. I can get into it. And if you can hear noise outside the room, my mother is vacuuming. Don't know why. Um, anyway, so I have a few that I want to talk to you about first. This little bundle. These are the books that I always keep beside my bed. You know, a little bedside table stack. <laughs> that never seems to go down. Um, if you don't have a stack of books beside your bed, are you even really a reader? No, I don't think so. Um, so I have uh, this, the Star Wars anthology book that I've let be reading. I feel like I've been reading this for like three months. Um, still making my way through this. Um, I read a few more stories quite recently and I'll be honest, one of them I didn't even read. Like I read the first page and I just went, nope. And I skipped over and then I read the next one. But I am looking forward to reading more of this. I'm hoping to, um, I think there might be a Mando story in here or something related to the world of Mandalore. So hopefully I'll get to that soon. Um, I think I've read one already from Boba Fett or someone associated with Boba Fett, I'm not sure, but I'm going to continue on reading that and I'm currently uh reading as well Bronze Beasts by Roshani Chokshki. I'm reading and annotating this and then on my Kindle I have um Ashes and Starcross King by Cressida, <laughs> Cressida Broadbent. It's the sequel to Serpent in the Wings of Night which spoiler alert I read in July and I will talk to you about that in the wrap up next week or on Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. So this is the bedside bundle. So we'll just leave those there. Now, the rest of these, <laughs> literally everything on this TBR is gonna be fantasy because I'm so burned out from all the contemporary I've been reading lately and I'm done. Mama needs fantasy. So now the introverted reader book club pick for the month of August. Um, when I put the poll up on Twitter, which by the way, follow me on Twitter, it's down there. Um, I literally just used emojis uh, to throw you all off. I didn't even leave the Goodreads link. So I was just like, I'm just going to put out some emojis out there and they can just pick. But the one that won was, it was a little unicorn and what I thought looked like a thief, but it looked like a ninja I couldn't find. <laughs> anyway, Scander and the Unicorn Thief is going to be the book club pick for the month of August. And yeah, because remember I did my unread TBR video. This was very, this was, this was on that list and I've had this for a good long time and I need to get up off my ass and read it. I have so much middle grade, as you guys know, on my shelf that I need to hurry up and read. So I'm going to read this one. So this is about, um, Scander Smith has only ever wanted to be a unicorn rider, to be one of the lucky few selected to hatch a unicorn, to bond with it for life, to train together and race for glory, to be a hero. And that is all I know. Literally just what's written on the little flap in there. And yeah, it's kind of giving Percy Jackson vibes, kind of, because it kind of looks like a pegasi, but obviously it's a unicorn. But I'm super looking forward to reading this, finally. So if you want to read it with me, you are more than welcome. So I'll be reading and reviewing that in August. Um, the next book I want to read, hopefully in August, is Ray Bearer by Jordan Afueco. Again, I mentioned this in the unread TBR video. And do you know what? Again, I don't really know what this is about. Um, it says... Our main character was raised in isolation by her mysterious, cunning, and often absent mother known only as the Lady. And apparently the Lady is going to be sending our main girl away to the global empire of Aritstar to be chosen as one of the Crime Prince's Council of Eleven. So that is all I know. I don't know what to expect, but I've heard good things about this. And yeah, again, that, this cover is actually really quite stunning. Uh, the sequel's out and all, so may as well. 
And I also want to read this part of your world. I don't know if you can see it's purple foil. <laughs> um, part of your world, a Disney twisted tale. And this one is written by Liz Braswell. Liz Braswell's actually written a good few of these. Um, but anyway, basically the whole thing on these is they take the Disney story and they ask a question and then it's like, okay, what would happen if it, if things turned out this way or this happened or whatever? And this one is, what if Ariel had never defeated Ursula? What if? And I thought, you know what? With the release of the live action Little Mermaid, which I've seen twice, it's beautiful, it's amazing, I'm obsessed. Uncharted Waters is literally on repeat over here, okay? But I I just, I was just like, you know what, of all the Disney twisted tales that I have, I may as well just read this one. So that is another one that we want to read. And the last two I want to talk about, um, The Shadow Cabinet by Juno Dawson. I have the audiobook all ready to go for this. Um, it's the sequel to Her Majesty's Royal Coven, which is basically about... Um, these four women who were besties whenever they were kids, but then as they've grown older, they've grown apart, but they were all a part of this secret government organization known as Her Majesty's Royal Coven. And they're basically witches and they sort of are the line between the spiritual demonic world and the mortal realm. So they kind of help keep humanity safe from demonic forces and such. And obviously this is the sequel. I can't give a synopsis for this because it would spoil everything, but this is the Waterstones edition with the gorgeous pink sprayed edges. And it is signed by the queen herself. There she is there. I debated whether or not about getting the fairy loot edition of this as well, but I was like, I already have a signed edition with, and you know, it would just, I would just be having it out. So I'm gonna hopefully get to this. And another one, the last one I want to talk to you about is Mark of Athena by Rick Riordan. This is book three in the Heroes of Olympus series. Obviously, you guys know I have been going through the Percyverse uh, for the Olympian Along, hosted by Pris over at Pris Peruses. So we're on to book three in Heroes of Olympus now. And I'm living, laughing, loving. I love the series so much. I love these characters. And it's going to be a fun time. Got the audiobook already and I'm so excited. So those are all the books that I plan to read for the month of August. This video is a bit short, but like I said, mom is hungry. I need to go get lunch. So I love you all. Hope you're all doing well. Um, all of my socials are down below as always. Twitter, Instagram and TikTok. And subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the bell. Please, subs please consider subscribing because I would love to get to 300 subscribers, that'd be amazing. So I hope you are all having a good one and I'll see you on Tuesday for the uh, July wrap up, which is gonna be a fun time. So I'll see you then, bye.